So we are live now. Mm, fantastic. Shall I joineth you? I presume sure. so. Just to make sure. Oh God. Is that an ad? That's gotta be an ad, right? Probably. Okay, good. Buy our product or we will castrate your baby sheep. <laughs> I don't know why baby sheep. There's a smite mad playing on Twitch. Need to get through this ad so I can hear damn audio balances. Here we go. Okay, good. We're good. I'm good. So, how's your day been, mon frere? It's been on and off, productive and unproductive. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, Matt and I were playing a bunch of Left 4 Dead, but I've also oh, yeah. done, some, done some writing and uh, film festival submissions. You should force him to get the Helm's Deep map. I should. That one's amazing. The most glorious map in the land. Ah, uh, hello, Red! Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. Been two weeks, I believe, since I was on vacation last week. And, uh, yeah, you know. Oh my god, the, the dead eggs. I'll never get over the missing number eggs. The missing no Wesker eggs. What? No game, no life. I'm very confused. Uh, Red's typing in chat. That's how oh. I'm seeing this. I have not watched No Game, No Life beyond the first episode. I stopped watching Sword Art, on Sword Art Online. I kind of stopped liking it around episode 8, I think. I apologize. <laughs> I just don't think anime is my thing. Hey, if it was for everyone, it wouldn't be anime. Am I right? Well, that's hey. true. <laughs> I was doing the impression of a stand-up who really wants to be liked. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? That's what you got to add. You got to okay. add the second time, yeah. Gotcha. Screaming Lamb is now online. Holy Oh, balls. yes, I forgot to tell... Oh, no, no Game No Life got dubbed. That's cool. Uh, I forgot to tell you, Red. I watched all the episodes of the uh, Sword Art Online at Bridge, though, because they've only released seven so far, correct? Unless there's a new one since then. I really like that. I, I thought that was a really, really good abridged series. I stopped series. liking the show, but I do like the parody. Well, it's really good. It does a good job of mocking all the things that are, like, wrong in the show. Or don't really make sense. That's good. Um, parody should. Yeah, exactly. That's my favorite part of the early episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! The abridged series. I feel like uh, the later episodes, or after the first, like, 12... 25 or something like that i felt like it's just started becoming independent jokes and refer references and i liked it the the jokes that were like making fun of something that happened in the show more all in all yeah fair enough so uh have you made the game uh, i'm working on that i oh, will start a, no i don't want to watch the cinematic all over again i think you told me about denpa kiyoshi Okay, here. Let me Google search that. Denpa Ki Yoshi. Yoshi! That's what uh, the Asian lady says to her son or daughter from Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. The greatest of the series. Without a doubt. Am I right, Rob? What now? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that probably means you agree. You agree. Sure, I guess. <laughs> this is how they got me to vote for Donald Trump. In the polls. You weren't paying attention, and then they're like, we'll take that as a yes. It's the only way anyone could get yes, me to vote seriously. for that human being. Seriously. That debatable human being. Oh, man. I know. A debatable human being or possible living joke slash sexist monster? I think he's a troll doll. A troll doll. It's like roll doll, but a troll. They're like, they're like those um those little toys with the really goofy cotton candy hair. I'm back. Oh yeah, yeah, those things. Those things are weird. I don't like oh. those. I gotta get rid of this yeah, Skype they're kinda creepy. thing. Go away, Skype thing. Enter the ancient waterway in places. <laughs> I've got a lot of things apparently. Monsters. Okay, I'll take this gear. Oh, shit. Replace my previous loincloth. I think that one's better. With an even better loincloth. 
<laughs> a loincloth of massive destruction. Chance to deal, I think that's worse. Sorry, I haven't messed with my equipment in a while. Oh yeah, I'm selling stuff too, so it's all good. Oh, okay, wonderful. I need a new weapon that's stronger than mine, but also allows me to summon a friendly ghost. Because that's the problem. I'm seeing all these weapons that are like 20 po damage points higher than my current, but they don't allow me to summon Casper the friendly ghost, and I need Casper uh, on my side. It's a huge disappointment. <laughs> the movie? No, not the movie. I was just oh, referring okay. to uh, the fact that they don't allow you to summon Casper the friendly ghost. See, there he is! Oh, oh, okay, I see. Casper. He's, he looks a lot different now, but, you know, he's still friendly enough, and that's really all that counts. Or all that matters. Also, I could summon this guy, my other big old friend. Goodbye, Casper. Skeleton time! Casper, I think you're a little too friendly with all the other ghosts in the neighborhood. I'm getting <laughs> oh, jealous. Oh no! So you're doing the dirty deed with them. Casper the slut. I really like that I could summon Casper by doing my zombie throw ability. I, I actually had no idea. Sword Art Online Abridged is more mocking video games MMO and other gamings than it does the original. I don't know. I, I thought that they had a lot of jokes that were referencing stupid things in the show. Like, like the biggest example, my favorite one, spoilers alert for anyone who hasn't seen the show or um, the Abridged series. I'll cover my ears. There's essentially this murder mystery that I think is a two-parter between episodes like five and six or six and seven, one or the other. And, um, it turns out that the, the people who actually, the, the, the people who were the murderers, uh, were the people, were both the victim and a person who was, like, talking to the main characters about the victim, get, trying to get the main characters help. Um, but it's this really elaborate, complicated thing, so I'll just skip to the end part. Basically, for their plan... They, the, these two people who com faked this murder then asked for the help of the main character who was completely outside of their original plan. And him showing up was counter to their plan. So they, they asked for his help when really that has nothing to do with what they were trying to do. And, and the, the, the show references that. I don't really know how to describe what I'm trying to say well. It's, it's this big confusing thing. Who's this man? What are you babbling about? His name is Zoltan Cool. He's very cool. <laughs> oh, really? Clearly. He looks pretty translucent to me, as opposed to cool. Ha yuck yuck yuck. I don't think those two are mutually exclusive. Well, fuck you. How about that? <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> I could become a spooky, scary skeleton. That's really all that I need in life. That and my zombie tower. Those are the only real things that I need. I like your blue bullets. Those They're are like my own arrows, except they now frost things. Frost things? Frost. Oh, frost. Okay. I was like, what are you talking about, Willits? We also still have this lady. I don't know how long she's going to be our friend. Until the quest is finished, I assume. Yeah. I guess. It probably is an endgame quest, I suppose, since she's... Uh, what's his face's daughter? Uh, Deckard Kane's daughter or whatever. At least somewhat connected to him. Oh yeah, just a little bit. I love you, Deckard Kane. Whoa, you've you also too. got a shield. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh man, there there should be a version of this game. There should be a version of all the Diablos where you play as Deckard Kane. That'd and be you amazing. Have old man pooping attacks. That's his main ability. You just really love that pooping metaphor, don't you? <laughs> well, chat loves it too! They're the ones who brought it up! They're the ones who were saying that he sounds like he's pooping when he talks. Poop, Death is life! Mess. Okay, that's a cool sounding ability. I also got an ability called Big Bad Voodoo. That sounds huh. really silly. I'm gonna do the Big Bad Voodoo that you do. If you know what I mean. Oh, we're nowhere near each other. I didn't realize that. Well, that would explain why I'm dying now. <laughs> Let's go into the shack. Actually, that's more of a hole in the ground. Hello, Dean! Welcome out to the stream. My good sir. 
How have you been doing today? I hope you've been doing most exquisite. Or something like that. Okay, you fight these serpents of destruction and doom, I'm gonna level up. I cannot change skills well in combat. Poop that. Ah. I think it's so just because I'm standing in this icky pool. Nah, I'm still too close to the combat, apparently. Someone's throwing fireballs at me. That's rude. That's non-consensual fireballing. <laughs> Nobody likes non-consensual fireballing. True that. It's a very bad thing. You weren't even there? I thought you were there with me. Huh. Poison dart, I got sp spined dart. Gain mana every time poison dart hits an enemy. Nah, toads is obviously the better one. Pierce through enemies. Mutate the fire bullfrog that explode on impact. Oh yeah. So I've got to do explosive toads. Oh shoot! My gargantuan- Oh no! Gargantuan or big bad voodoo. Conjures a fetish that increases the attack and movement speed of all Something allies. Something tells me they're using the word fetish differently than what you do now. <laughs> they really like the word fetish with the witch doctor. Let let's check out this fetish. Uh, he's less exciting than I would have hoped, but... Not oh, quite was he just stand you? still? That's awful. That sucks. I need my gargantuan back. <gasps> I can't get my gargantuan back until the cooldown stops. That's so dumb. Okay. Well, unbreakable ga grasp slows enemies or enemies killed with uh, within the grasp of dead have a chance to drop low health globes or summon zombie dogs. Okay, death is life. It's like Shrek is life, but death is life. Let's go into this oh. hole. Oh, I almost walked right back out of it. You silly, silly man. Episode 4, Collecting the Flower. Collecting 50 flowers to trade back into the town for a gem, which they'd give to a gatekeeper, which would unlock the dungeon where they would fight a series of bosses in order to get the red flower. Like really old school RPG. Mmm, mmm, I see. What? Did they really have to go through all those things in the show? That's funny. I forgot about that. Yeah, Sword Art Online was... I, I, I liked it at first, but it, it... I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, I, I really think that the biggest weakness of the show was being really overdramatic about characters that we just met dying. Um, Isn't that sort of an anime thing in general? Though? Yeah, I believe we talked about that. I, I, I don't think it's an anime thing in general. I just think it does happen in animes a lot from my experience um especially in the first episode it, it's kind of like they do the 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 uncle ben for for every single anime there's someone who we've just established and then they die <laughs> And they make it, like, super dramatic that we're supposed to care for them so much. Happens a lot in The Walking Dead, too. Really? That's Although, actually, those ones are more, like, raising the stakes than they are, like... Because some of them come and go pretty quickly, and some stick around for, like, four or five episodes. Uh-huh. That show's actually been getting a lot better lately, so... I've also heard much. that it's... never gone better. Really? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you from? Um, uh, it's uh, some of the YouTubers I watch. They've been like, yeah, that show's just been horrible. Oh, I, uh, I like season one, so so I will say I didn't season... agree with them in that regard. Season one is fantastic. Season two, meh. Season three. Oh, is okay, atrocious. I'm about to die. Heal. But for my reckoning, season four was a marked improvement on season three, and season five, likewise, on season four. So. I mean, anything's better than season two. <laughs> oh, season three was worse than season two. Really? I, I will fight to the nail with any Walking Dead fan. I mean, I that's where I stopped watching. So actually, maybe I would agree going back in time. Because season three, like season two, had a lot of faffing about bullshit, but at least it didn't have as many plot holes as season three. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I think I should go back to reading the graphic novel. I gotta lend you the first compendium so you could understand how much better the graphic novel is. <laughs> My order goes, 
Uh, Walking Dead Season 1, personally. I haven't fi finished Season 2, actually, so I can't compare that. But th but from what I have of Season 2, I would then say, then the first compendium... Season and... 2? Haven't you finished Season 2? Actually, no, I haven't. I've Wait. done two episodes of Season 2, three episodes of The Wolf Among Us. Oh, the game. The game. Yeah, the game. Sorry, I meant the game. I... I, I... It's hard when there's two things out there called The Walking Dead Season 2. <laughs> like... Yeah, because I was going to say, we talked about the actual the, the TV season. Yeah, yeah. Um, quite a lot, uh, in fact, I would, I would certainly say. Um, but yeah, th then I would put the compendium and then uh, season two of The Walking Dead. I mean, Telltale's The Walking Dead, I should say. And then the show last, without a doubt. Well, the show is kind of hard to grade as one entity for me, just because it changed hands so many times. Mm. Like, they changed showrunners three times. You know, I like to think that, um... Spo I'm gonna say spoilers here, so be careful, people in chat. Spoilers about The Walking Dead, so if you care, close your ears for a little bit. Um, I, I, I like to say in my personal canon or whatever that, um the series ends at the end of the first compendium, which is in the prison when uh, Laura dies with the baby. Laura and the baby are killed. Wait, the baby also dies? In the yep, game? the baby also dies in, in eh. the graphic novel. That's one area that I hear the show is different than the than the graphic novels that I actually kind of like. Which really? Is, which is um, the show has more hope, and the graphic novel just gets tiresome after being so bleak. So, so uh, consistently. But then again, I can't really judge because I haven't read the graphic novel. That's just a criticism I've heard leveled at the graphic novel. Uh huh. I, the thing is, I would disagree, but I stopped reading after the a couple issues of the second compendium. Like I started it, and that's where I stopped being interested. Um, mm. I think probably because of that reason, at least to some extent. So I wouldn't necessarily disagree. I, I, I disagree if you just say the, the first compendium's worth, but um but afterwards, yeah. Also, I really don't think Rick is that interesting of a character a a after a period. I think initially he's a very interesting character, but I think he gets old really fast. Ah, uh, the white man protagonist problem. Yeah, seriously. Kill the beast! I think Destroy the fallen a... master! What? I think Andrew Lincoln is a really good actor. I just oh, that's the guy know... who plays him? Yeah, that's the guy who plays him. He's, he's English, actually. Really? Oh, yeah. I think I knew that, actually. He's in love, actually. Do we go actually. down here? Oh, I knew that, too! Who did he... I mean, you've seen Love, Actually, now? Yeah, he's the signpost guy. A signpost? The guy was like, you're perfect, and I love you, with the signs. Oh, yeah, him! That's right, I love that guy. The guy who's in love with, uh, Kiara Knightley. Yes, but she's married to the better actor. <laughs> she chose wisely. Oh, this is a perfect guy to read chat for. I just keep on left-clicking him. Uh, so find the flower, uh... Oh, okay, you guys are talking to each other in chat right now. You're reading a, 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 a web novel, Red. What, what? Web novel. Or actually, you probably said, whatever Death Mark Kara Hajimaru Isekai Kyusyo Kyoyu Ku. <laughs> A.K.A. Death Marching to the Parallel World uh, Rhapsody. Interesting. That's a clunky title. Yeah, it doesn't sound like my kind of thing, but I don't know, actually. The, the, I, I've, I've read a lot of things with crazy titles that I've really come to enjoy. Hell, I've directed a film with a shitty title, and it was... <laughs> what good, what film? The Exorcism of the Demon Girlfriend from Hell. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't think the title was terrible in that one, but it's certainly a very clunky title. Yeah. It's always bad form to badmouth your own films. Bad form, bad form. Bad form. <laughs> I wish there were arrows in this game telling you where to go, but I guess that kind of isn't the point. 
Like, I, I, I presume a big part of this game is just meandering about completing, uh, or beating up monsters, gaining levels, all that jazz. Oh god, blue serpents of destruction Where? and doom uh, over by me. Explode my dogs. Let me summon a pool of acid. Summon the pool of acid. Oh, I'm out of mana. Because I keep summoning zombies. I don't know about you, but do you basically only press one, like two keys in this game, left click and one other? Because for 90% of my play, all I do is left click to throw zombie frogs and uh, press the three key rapidly to build my zombie towers endlessly. I mean, part of the reasoning for that, I guess, is that. Oh, I got resummoned my gargantuan! Duh! I'm backing out of here. Oh my god, I can't. Keep the skill. Because people are jerks. Yeah, reading it, and I, I'm reading it, and I don't understand the title. That's really funny, Red. I'm still reading Spider-Man, because I've got a shit ton more of them to get through, and now, I'm still loving it, and will love it till the day I die. Now, that one, I don't understand the title. I mean, how can he be a spider and a man? I know, it really doesn't it make no sense. sense. I, I I think that It's Always Sunny did a better uh, example of it with the, the man spider. That, that, would, that, that makes so much more sense. I mean, and really, the concept is so dumb. A, a, a teenager getting bit by a radioactive spider and getting the proportionate strength of a spider and stuff. Yeah, that's just that's just ridiculous. Really, it's like so overdone. The same thing from an ant. See, I know, seriously. Well, actually, that isn't the origin of Ant-Man. <laughs> you know, um, fun, uh, funny thing about comics, I, I, I've. Um, you know that I've recently gone back into the Nostalgia Critic, um, and so now I've been watching their sibling rivalry videos, and I just saw their one on Age of Ultron, and they did a- they mentioned a very good point that actually I completely- it completely flew over my head for some reason. Which one? Um, the- the whole thing that, um... Ultron's motivation is basically every single sci-fi robot disaster plot. Which which one? Or not every single one, but half the of whole, them. Like, um... uh, where Ultron's like, oh, I'm going to fix the world by killing humanity. Oh yeah, that is a pretty common one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually never thought about that until they mentioned it. I, th I think it's... I think that's probably because it's done with a very, very fun villain, you know, that I overlook yeah. it, because Ultron is so badass. Yeah, I quite like their version of Ultron. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not familiar with the comics, but I think I found the way. There's this angry serpent yelling at me. That helps. <laughs> nice little... Blow him up, dogs! Yes! Blow him up! Blow him! Oh. <laughs> Check out Problem Children Are Coming From Another World. Is that the whole name? Problem Children Are Coming From Another World? That sounds hilarious. I'll have to look at that later. What a wimpy tin sword. I'll look at this sword. See exactly how wimpy it is. Oh, look, it's this, uh, it's that face thing. I mean, they, there's just a lot of architecture like this kind of face thing. It's going like, oh. I'm an angry face. Oh my god! What? In this show, this man crunches a sword. Like he, like a, he puts, wait, I'll be quiet for this. It's this dumb kid. He actually, he actually do pronounce it cool. Please stop doing that, madam. You're hurting my head. Well, he's a, he's a hologram. Oh, speaking oh. of which, they released a bunch of behind-the-scenes photos from, um, from the next Star Wars movie today. Yeah, Shan was telling me about that earlier. They it's the funny great. thing about Star Wars. I really am not all that excited. 
Well, fuck you, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm like the only person. You are the only person. I mean, I, like, I, I'm not, like, it's not that I don't care at all. I do care. I'm just like, yeah, it's happening, cool. I'm mainly excited for Mark Hamill. I love Mark Hamill. That's one of the reasons I'm excited. Because he's grown so much as an actor since the 70s and 80s. Yes, I have. Oh, man. Grew a level already. Or gained a level. I grew a level! Just like a beard. Oh, wonderful day for me. Acid rain? Acid rain. Something about feeling the pain. Acid rain. Blow up my zombie dogs! Kill them all! Just destroyed everything. 